sick am I? Is that good? No. <laughs> They're poisonous. I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, holy. Oh, MG. I
am in my special little spot where I find the Amanita muscaria, where I find nice chanterelle, hedgehog mushrooms, patini mushrooms, you name it, I find it up here. And I just had that feeling today that today was the day that we would finally find some Amanita muscaria up here. I'm so looking forward to working with her as a medicine this year. And we got lucky. Where are you? Let's have a look. There's our first one. <laughs> it's a new baby, but that's okay. And so it begins. <laughs> Yay. Oh, I'm so happy. Hello. Oh my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Oh, I've waited for you for so long. That's beautiful. I knew that they'd be here today. I just had this feeling. Oh, look at them. It's so good to see you. There he is. I'm so glad it's me and you finding them, Gabes. My cheap foraging buddy. <laughs> Have you got it? Oh, tricky. There we go. Lovely. That is an Amanita Staria. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's a tricky one, Gabe. How are you going to get it? Let me help you. That's so big. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. Spiky. Do you want to help you? <laughs> oh, the gorse is evil. Ouch. Oh my god. That's how the rain's been. Look at him. Oh my god, he's so good. Look at him. He's so good. <laughs> he smells like cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> so we have just found some baby penny buns as well. Yeah. Look at these. How exciting is this? Hello, my friends. How are you? Oh, there's, look, 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 they're everywhere. Oh, this one's been so much. Today is Saturday, the autumn has begun and I'm here on a beautiful 100 acre private ancient site where there's some beautiful, beautiful woodland. So straight away we see one of the most appropriately coloured, very spooky looking beautiful mushrooms of autumn and of course that's the amethyst deceiver and she is an edible mushroom. Have a good look at the beautiful, beautiful colour of this mushroom. This is an edible mushroom, but you should really probably not eat too many because they do accumulate heavy metals. And the common mistake for amethyst seva, because as they get cold, they actually start turning white. That makes them easily confused with the lilac or the rosy bonnet, which is a very, very similar mushroom no way if you've watched a lot of my videos you <laughs> this squirrel did you see that he's following me and he's so funny I've got all the birds and squirrels literally following me. I can't believe that. Wow. If you have seen any of my past videos, you'll recognize this scene. And this was the tree that always knocked when my son knocked on it. I knew it was rotting, but my goodness. That is seriously huge. these two huge ash trees have come down. They've taken with them 
quite a few pines as well though. That is mad. I always knew if that came down, it would be something. I mean, look at the size of these trees. They're huge. Like really mega, mega, mega trees. Look at them all. Wow, crazy. That's really crazy. I bet that was bloody scary when that came down. guys right it has been a super super long time since i made a vlog style video and talked to you and took you out foraging and today i need to do that i've had such a crazy month uh such a crazy year <laughs> last week was just awful my tumble dryer at home broke down that's just as a family drama then it was my brother's memorial and then the following day the following day I went for a calming walk in the forest and my car windows were all smashed and my car was broken in two. So today I've decided to have a different type of Monday. I'm going to one of my favourite beautiful estates. It's a private estate, private woodland. Um, and I've probably filmed a lot there actually thinking about it. Uh, but I thought it was a really good time. It's a beautiful day. The mushrooms should be sort of making a reappearance about now. We've just had a flush, we've just had lots of heavy rain, but I think it's been about 24 hours since the heavy rain, so there should be something to find. And I am hoping <laughs> to find some mushrooms with you, so let's do that. If I look a little bit ropey today, it was Halloween last night, <laughs> and uh, yes, we drank lots of my famous mugwort gin. <laughs> anyway, let's go foraging, let's go have an awesome adventure. So we're in luck. The first thing we're finding is exactly what I wanted to find for my food today. And that is of course the chanterelle. And they are just the gift that keeps on giving this year. It's a really nice bit of lunch. Let's buy a few more over here too. Let's see them. Let's see some more. And there she is. Our beautiful Amanita Muscari. Oh morning and I'm collecting these for medicine at the moment. A beautiful little friend. Had all of her spots washed away in the crazy monsoons. lunch. <laughs> what a good find. Oh, lovely. That's so nice. Beautiful. Right, jackpot. We have got a lovely patch here. Look at all these. It's of course the winter chanterelle all about the chanterelle today. So there's more lunch. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. And I've come right down in a really remote, quiet part of this private ancient forest. And um, this forest is fascinating because it's just 
so untouched and left to do its thing and I just I thought I'd turn the camera on <laughs> because I've just seen something incredible which I'll show you and like actually looking at it I wish I had a bin bag <laughs> um, this is one of those moments where the mushrooms made me do it and it's gonna go so wrong and I'm on my own so here's my challenge <laughs> I just need to get across there with my foraging basket because over there, just look at this. I don't know if you can see all the way across this tree. We're actually crazy. All the way down there, those are honey fungus. So let's see if we can get across to go see them. Okay, I made it over, no dramas. Look at these, oh my all the way along and along <laughs> so uh, I'll see if there's any good ones I'm just picking out some of the better ones because a lot of these are quite old I think and they've been rained on I'm just going to pick out some of the better specimens of ancient forest so I am expecting some crazy deer or some crazy something's gonna happen it always does <laughs> this is what it's like walking through a completely unmanaged forest it's just complete chaos look there is no such thing as a path <laughs> I just can't make it through the trees and bushes and hope one of them does not fall down while I'm doing that Especially that one there. It's looking very dodgy. Uh, that's a bit bushy. We're going this way. Sometimes you've got to go back to go forwards in nature. 360. This forest. It's so chaotic. But it's good fun. I really love this place because it's so ancient and these really super ancient old walls have got the most incredible trees growing out of them. It's so amazing. That is so old. <laughs> Such an old dream. Looking around, you can just see how completely unmanaged this woodland is. It's so amazing. But it does look like a lot of trees have come down since I was last here. That is for sure. Right, back to the mushroom hunt. I think I keep hearing the rumble of thunder. And the rain has just started to fall and to be honest with you it makes me very nervous it's gone nice and sunny again now just like you the other view of this beautiful place and also <laughs> look at this lot how crazy 